Agus Mulangi Hydroelectric Complex is not just a power source, but Mindanao's crown jewel. For decades, this complex, powered by the majestic 344 square kilometer Lake Lanao, has been the backbone of our energy supply, proudly providing over half of the island's electricity needs. Despite its aging infrastructure and diversification of Mindanao's energy mix, the power complex remains the largest, giving stability to the Mindanao grid. Its power rate is the lowest, at less than 3 pesos per kilowatt hour. The biggest resource in Mindanao is the impounding Lake Reservoir with 340 square kilometer of Lake Lanao. It is composed of 22 billion cubic meters of water, out of which 10% is used for energy generation. For two decades, Mindanao Power stakeholders have opposed the facility's privatization out of valid fears that once it fell into the hands of private power players, rate increases would become unabated. These fears are rooted in experiences where privatization led to significant rate hikes and reduced service quality. This victory of Mindanao power stakeholders, however, is open-ended. After years of delay, now is the time to rehabilitate the aging power infrastructure or just allow it to reach full depreciation. The latter is unacceptable. Climate change realities demand energy transition. Due to the urgency of the need, we seek acceleration of this transition in Mindanao. We are setting bold target to achieve the parity between renewable energy and fossil fuel in 2030. Setting an example for the rest of the Philippines. As we take decisive steps toward realizing Mindanao 5050 by 2030. The energy mix of Mindanao has become overly dependent on coal and petroleum in just the last decade, resulting in expensive power in a range of environmental, health, and climate impacts. Oh. Ang power profiles sa Mindanao, kanang dark blue, that's coal, the behavior of coal prices. Volatile siya. In northern Mindanao, naikin sa lukon na ako niya ang blue, that is illegal light and power incorporated. So, nagsakat na ng pag-crisis sa coal, ang illegal, stable ang price, tungkol kay heavily dependent sila sa hydro. So, meaning, hindi lang barato, stable, Ang price side of Delicia volatile. Two thirds of the seven coal fired power plants in Mindanao, Nasa Pisamis Oriental and Lanao del Norte. The data will not lie. Tapon ang Adulai Pinaka, taas na power rate in Mindanao. Call na tayo bakit? Mura ba? Hindi, di ba? Pinakita na ni Benzai, napakamahal. Bakit mahal? Kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung presyo. Bakit? Eh, kasi pag tumaas yung presyo ng coal, nandun na sa bill mo, wala nang iiring-iri na iyan. Si automatic fuel pass from pass a load down namin. Pati sa gas, ganyan. So, nung naglagay kayo ng coal, eh, nandali na kayo ng pass a load. We believe that the island's energy transition is anchored on a Mindanaoan-centered rehabilitation of its crown jewel. For the first time in two decades, a technically and financially feasible as well as socially acceptable proposal to rehabilitate the Agus Pulangi Hydroelectric Complex has emerged. The Hybrid Economic Dispatch or HED, one of the technological innovations introduced by the Energy Storage Project, will manage Lake Lanao as a giant energy storage system or battery. The HED represents a paradigm shift from the current practice of just extracting water from the lake to drive the turbines downstream. As outlined in the HED, the Agus power plants will operate in tandem with distributed solar load centers. When solar power is at its peak, the lake can store water and conserve it for sustained power production. The second is the Circular Economy for Hydropower or CEHP. Waters cascading from Lake Lanao to drive the power turbines end up in the sea. 
Water draining down from Agus 7 in Iligan City is pumped back to the small lake at Agus 4 in Balui, Lanao del Norte. CEHP ensures sufficient hydraulic power to drive the turbines of Agus 5, Agus 6 or the Maria Cristina Falls hydro plant, the largest of the Agus plants, with a 200 megawatt rated capacity and back to Agus 7. The Solar Ocean Pump Storage or SOPS is another technological innovation that addresses the power needs of small island grids and geographically isolated disadvantaged areas. It will maximize mountainous coastal terrain. It would entail setting up a water reservoir in elevated areas. Solar-powered pumps will deliver seawater into these artificial water reservoirs. These reservoirs are fitted with impermeable linings to prevent contamination of the natural environment. When water reaches its optimal level, it is released to power turbines below, generating electricity that powers the communities. SOPs will save the national government precious foreign currency for importing diesel, while also greening the bugs or the small power utility group operating in the island areas. Not only is the unsolicited project novel innovative and very technically feasible, but the proponent is also offering mass-based ownership for the venture to preserve the power facilities obligation to serve. The household consumer, a micro, small or medium enterprise, or a power intensive business or industry, they can invest in the ESP venture. This revolutionary scheme not only ensures clean, affordable, and reliable power for Mindanaoans, it also democratizes ownership of a vital utility, electricity.